Hi, my name is Khuzaima and welcome to my channel Hustle and Chill. Today I am speaking about the importance of being humble and how it helps you in your personal and professional life. So by, first of all I would like to say that uh, being humble and humility does not mean that you are weak, uh, you are introverted. Mm, you're not able to deal with the challenges of life that is not what do you mean by humility and being humble <clears throat> on the contrary being humble means that you have an open mind and uh, you stay in the moment uh, with presence of mind and you try to look at things in a whole holistic and complete way you do not fragmentize the situation but rather you have an understanding and maturity level to deal with any situation. So that is what I mean by being humble. And there are many benef benefits of having humility in your heart. So first of all, uh, if you are humble, you have open mind and you try to listen to other person's perspective and try to understand it I'm not saying that you have to agree with him but you at least have to give the other person the chance to convey his message with uh, like you have to give him you have to give the other person the chance to convey his message communicate uh, communicate with you have to give him the space to communicate properly along with that uh, being humble means that you work hard towards your dreams and ambition you do not take the shortcut because the shortcut is the longest way to achieve any of your goals so you rather put in work and time because you understand that Achieving anything of importance requires time, energy and effort and if you cut down on those things, the fruit will be directly proportional to the amount of energy you put into anything. Along with that, being humble means that you have an attitude of learning, you are always trying to look, uh, you have that lens of learning new things in your life and in that way you remain humble because in any situation in any field in any field of knowledge there will always be things that you don't know uh, and when you're humble you try to learn new things and that will ultimately help you in your life along with that being humble also means that you are true to yourself and before you are true to yourself it is important that you know yourself as the magazine goes there's no die self and i will be making one of videos on that because if you don't know yourself it is very difficult to stay true to yourself uh, and it is very important to know yourself so that you can increase and enhance your productivity and do the things in the best uh, make your best performance because if you don't know yourself and if you're not true to it then you cannot perform well in any of the life situations so it is important to know yourself uh, so that ultimately you can perform well in every area of your life along with that one of the elements and components of being humble is that you have to stay comfortable with the unknown, with the future, with what life holds. Uh, and when you have that humility in you, life rewards you with good things. Uh, and th that mystery is always good because if you know all the things, then the charm is taken out of life so in this way the almighty creator has kept things hidden from us so that we are humble uh, and we always stay alert and aware regarding what to do in our lives so that is important along with that when you're humble 
you always try to improve yourself that is one of the qualities of humility that you always try to improve and enhance your qualities traits and skills because that way you are able to provide more value to the world and society that you live in so always trying to improve yourself and it is important that you don't try to change yourself all at once because that will not that will not help in the long run and before improving yourself you have to have an ideal image and a kind of role model that you want to be like because just improving for the sake of improving will not help if you have a vision a theme for your life and then you try to improve yourself it will be much better uh, for example uh, let's uh, I would like to give one example for from my life earlier I I always had uh, I always liked English language I like to read non-fiction books I like to read good stories in English uh, but uh, it can be said that I was consuming uh, the information just for the perf purpose of entertain entertainment and leisure it can be said that but now I have I have connected my interest with a goal and that is I want to improve my writing and communication skills in English language I want to improve my spoken English because I want to improve my performance on these YouTube video so when I have this interest connected with the goal it gives me a sense of direction that I can improve my skills in so it is important that you have to have a context to improve your skills along with that uh, now this is quite obvious it doesn't require saying but it is the obvious things that should be mentioned first and that is uh, when you are humble you respect other people's boundaries and you let them have their own view and perspective for doing things and of the world and you don't try to impose your perspective and your vision on other people rather if you want that uh, if you're convinced that your vision on your perspective and your view of the world is better than theirs then the best way to convince them is by your action you cannot you cannot speak someone into convincing you have to show them what your vision and view of the world is along with that being humble also means that you respect yourself uh, you have a good healthy self image this is one of the important topics that will uh, that I will cover in some of the later videos on this channel so respecting yourself is also part of humility sometimes we tend to think that humility means that you don't care for yourself you don't have self-respect but that is quite contrary because I don't know how to pronounce this word contrary uh, that is quite contrary because uh, being humble means that you respect yourself and can only respect others when you have the quality of respecting yourself like they say that you cannot pour from an from an empty vessel so it is important that you have self-love self-care and a healthy self image so that you can also respect others in the way that need to be respected so that is one of the qualities of being humble along with that humility also includes being comfortable with failure because everyone many a time everyone fails now and then at the things they do and you have to be comfortable with failure because failure is only a lesson and if you take it that you can learn and you can move ahead in life so there is no 
point being stuck and drooling over I think that's the right word being drooling uh, over the things or over your failure and you can learn the lesson improve and move ahead in life and one of the things about being humble is uh, you forgive others and you forgive yourself because that's part of humility because you understand that people people take time people are not always don't make always mature decisions and people make mistakes and you have to forgive others and you have to forgive yourself as well and one of the last things that I would like to say is that being humble means that you don't overthink things and you don't over plan like I say in the video of spontaneity you have a plan but then you also take quick action towards it because sometimes what happens is that most of the people do over planning and overthinking and that sucks all their energy and then they don't have any energy left to do the work that they actually they have to do so these are some of my thoughts on being humble and the one last thing that I would like you all that I would like to leave you all with is that when you are humble you are confident uh, like uh, it may seem bad humility and confidence are two different things but when you look uh, when you think deeply you understand that genuine confidence always springs from true humility and the, those are one of the best those are one of the most profound words of wisdom so that is all that i would like to say thanks for watching the video please like the video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and we will see you next time bye